All right, guys, hope you're doing good. So what to do when you're stuck somewhere? So at this stage, I'm presuming that you have probably at some point in your life done a tutorial, or a lesson somewhere else out there on the internet. And at some point you might have got probably struck on a problem. I spend a lot of time thinking about how I can make the course such that you get struck less often and feel more comfortable. But then, with programming, getting stuck somewhere and feeling that frustration is a core part of the learning process. Don't worry, it's inevitable. So when I get struck on something, I try to see it as a challenge. Because usually, when I solve it and when I figure it out, there is a huge sense of satisfaction and there's usually some associated growth that comes with it. So I just wanted to summarize few steps that you can go through when you get struck on any sort of implementation and the framework that you can actually use to get yourself unstuck in the quickest way possible. First thing, just try to examine what did you expect your code to do and what did you expect to happen and what actually happened. So every time you run your code and try to figure out what is causing the difference. Now while you're writing code, it's inevitable that you will end up creating errors and those errors in time can be because of some silly mistakes a lot of times and might also include logical and syntax mistakes too. And those errors are usually accompanied by bits of text, uh, the error message that can help you understand the error in more better way. But sometimes the error messages are not human readable and might frustrate you more because they don't seem to make any sense. But you can quite easily figure out the human meaning and English for it by just putting it into Google. And you will usually get a lot of different answers as to what the cause might be and how you can fix the problem. And one of the websites, if you don't already know about it, it's going to shortly become your very best friend. And that is UiPath official forum. Well, if you have ever been to it, it's a place where RPA UiPath developers discuss about their concerns and queries. So I recommend using or uh, searching for any error that you come across into Google and then heading towards the links that show up as a result. So just to show you if I just head go ahead with Google and type Excel read issue UI path. So if I'm facing any error with reading the Excel, then I will get some resources to doc UI path documentation. You can refer this in case you want to understand its internal working so this will help you out to understand the activities and then if I just scroll down right so here it is forum.uipath.com so if I just go ahead so this is the thing that you we have just visited so here it will take you to the threads that are already available because before you a lot of people might have faced the same issue so you can try to figure it out through this available answers uh, if you're trying to find the other available issues so what you can do is you can directly go here and you can type Excel read issue and type enter so that it will just start displaying the results right so you might find something that you actually want but if what if you don't find the answer that is related to you are useful to you you can directly go right here and click on this new topic and you can start creating your own questions okay so you can even post your questions right here and the active community will help you out really awesome right and this is exactly what real life developers do every day when they are exploring new something new or even they are when they are stuck somewhere. 
and sometimes the solution there in the official forum might not work for you. Now what? So it's all a part of developer workflow, right? Now if you that still doesn't help you, you are confused by the results that you are getting back, then it's a good idea to rewatch some of the video up to the point when the code started breaking. Uh, it started doing something unexpected. Because in the videos, there are always step-by-step -step instructions and it's really important that you check to make sure that you haven't made a typo here and there and uh, you haven't capitalized something that shouldn't be capitalized. And just rewatch the video right before when your code broke in order to try and figure out what might have gone wrong. Now, the next step is you can check your code against my code. At the end of every tutorial model, there is a complete project that you can download and you can scroll through the completed code. Compare it to your own and see if there were any typos, any errors or any mistakes. And if it helps, you can even copy and paste sections from the completed code into your own module just to see if that line are that activity helped to fix the issue. And what if it still doesn't solve it? No worries. I'm here to help you out, friend. Just head towards the Q&A available under every section on Udemy. So underneath every lesson, there is a Q&A section and it's good idea to check in the lesson when your workflow has broken to see whether if anybody else has similar issues to you and if you can't find anybody with the same issues then ask in the Q&A but make sure that you ask your question in the lesson where you are having the issue. That way it makes it much easier for other students to be able to learn from your mistakes and also for me to be able to quickly identify what the problem might be. And if you have a question about anything in the tutorial, it's a good idea just to include the timestamp at which it occurred in the video. So I can quickly watch it and figure out what you're referring to so that I can better answer your question. Now, when you're asking questions in the Q&A, the way to get the most helpful responses and solutions is by following a better approach. So firstly, try to include a screenshot of the error and along with the workflow description. And as mentioned at the beginning, we also have an active Slack community where you can just introduce yourself and you can talk to other developers and look after for job hunting, job related things. You can get some resources available. We at Excelcal community will try to share some helpful resources whenever possible. And the main thing that you will get is you will get a chance to talk to other developers who are trying to upscale themselves and they're trying to learn UI path as you are. And finally, it's important to remember that everybody gets stuck sometimes. I have spent hours trying to find a bug in my code and it turns out to be just a comma or a dot that was misplaced or a semicolon that was accidentally deleted and one of the greatest joys for me anyways is figuring out these problems and fixing them so don't worry if you get stuck everybody will try to help you and just remember that getting stuck and solving it is all a part of learning journey all the best